Hey everybody and welcome to part 21 of Spiral Year of the Dragon. So in this episode, we are doing Dino Mines. Probably the hardest level in the game just for like basic level stuff, I guess. If we do really good on this level, then maybe we'll uh, be able to do another level, like the Haunted Tomb or whatever it is. Yeah, so in this game, you actually have to destroy the cacti. They actually house gems, and no goddamn T-Rexes with guns. Gee Wilkers, Batman. Why do these T-Rexes have some freaking guns? Dynamite T-Rex! Oh, come on! That was just cheap, man. Why does this level have Molten Craters soundtrack and Magma Cone soundtrack? It's a good soundtrack, but... I don't know, it really doesn't fit this level. But remember, these games were actually severely rushed. And they turned out surprisingly well for being rushed. Boink. First egg is Dan. Dan the man. Everyone watches these videos for your pun, sol uh, Canadian solar nostalgia boy. I don't know, I'm, I'm confusing all my uh, YouTube channels together now. now this level's kind of weird. We actually have to free him from the army of the Rexes. Please don't shoot me from there. Okay, good. You gunslinging freaking T-Rexes. I'm gonna just kill them all off. Oh, for some reason he didn't actually use his uh, TNT on me. I believe this level also has another one of those weird uh, or like water tunnels. I believe it's also an Agent 9 level and just, oh uh, god, this level is so mean. I actually think I'll prefer the Agent 9 soundtrack here. With all due respect, Insomniac. You guys are probably one of my favorite game creators. You know, hence creating uh, Ratchet and Clank and Spyro, two of my all-time favorite games, if not my all-time favorite games. But, come on, the soundtrack is just meh. Like, we're not in a volcano, we're in a desert. This is the wild, wild west with prehistoric dinosaurs. and. You'd think there'd be like Rhinox, but not even Rhinox, it's, it's dinosaurs. Oh god. This guy has a turret. And sadly, you can't actually use the turret. Free life in a well. How did I see an enemy? Uh oh. Fuck you, man. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Like, I absolutely hate them with a passion. They are cheap and always hit you. Well, almost always hit you. We did outsmart them for a bit there. Oh, we now have underwater stuff. Yeah, we got underwater gun toting guys. This is like a uh, gunslinger, redneck, cowboy, dinosaur, paleontologist, archaeologist, love and wet dream here. Get out of the way. And I don't believe you can actually charge into their bullets, so don't even try. You will die. Actually, try, I dare you. You will just die and meet your fate. Boing. Those things like go blah 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 when you get close to them. It's actually pretty terrifying. Oh god, they're so, so creepy sounding. Fuck you. Good, we took them all down. Now we can collect these gems in peace without being sniped. Because your guns all work underwater, apparently. Hey, a crack in the wall. Ooh, egg. Romy. Romy. I don't even have a name for that. Where's Julie? Actually, I think Romy was a girl. So I guess that wouldn't have worked. Where's. Where's, uh. Jewel. Jewelmania? I, I don't even know anymore. Okay, all the gems that he's pointing at are out this way. Oh, a checkpoint! Yes! Oh, great. Fall off the cliff! Never return! I never want to see your face in these parts again, Mr. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, no. At least these guys have the decency to at least wait till you're facing them to attack. Oh, no, not him. At least when they hit you, they don't attack you again. They're just like, yeah, I hit them. I'm the best. None of y'all are any better than me. Throw your TNT at me, come on. Actually, I find that these end of the game levels aren't very long. 
Like, we're almost done the level, except for, like, the Agent 9 and Water Tunnel thing. Which isn't bad. We almost got all the gems, too, already. There are quite a few in the Agent 9 part, but that's another story. What if there's a dinosaur right there? Oh, I really thought there'd be a dinosaur right there. And there we go, we busted into the prison. Well, I'll be. So that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the run of the litter, though. I don't get it. Rabbits in a town full of dinosaurs. Eh. Kiki! Kiki Palmer! Ew, God, that's an ugly dragon. Jumping Jehoshaphat! That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. Hey, at least this guy doesn't insult, uh, dragons. I do appreciate your niceness to the dragon community, my good friend. Yeah, just some underwater gems here to collect, and we got the next Spyro underwater pipe thing. I didn't believe this one. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg. Never mind, there's Deputy Holiday. Believe this one is literally just avoid everything. Like, I always get this one and the first one confused, you know? Like, this one you have to kill everything, because it just seems like something you'd have to do. But it's not. I believe you can kill them, but there's a good chance they will shoot you, so don't even bother. Go up. Uh oh. No! <laughs> we made it through the entire thing, and then we took. Then we died right at the ending. It's funny how it doesn't actually cause you to take damage, though, like. I'm kinda actually surprised you don't get penalized by. when you take damage by actually losing health. Maybe you do. Nope, never mind. And Sparks just gets pushed back. Yeah, you don't even see Sparks. I guess it's because you don't need health here. Yeah, the controls here are reversed. Wait, no, they're not reversed. Never mind. I thought they were. Oh, god damn it. That spot is, like, the worst. I'm still determined to get more than just this in this episode. Like, this last play's already been long enough. It doesn't want to go on forever. Last episode, we got the Speedway and, uh... A level done. And why doesn't it... God... Like, I can't believe the first time went so smooth, and now it's like, oh, we can't even get past the first part. Or, like, the first major obstacle. And the one time I actually hit the wood, so it's like, oh, that's embarrassing. But it was the wood where it's dangerous, right? That I kept hitting? Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, then I believe this one is the one we go up. And then there's that wood. There we go! We made it! Thank you. That was some nice women there. Elliot Moose psh, psh, is on the loose. Psh, psh. Get out of here, little dragon. You're not safe here. Go through the portal. Now, I believe Agent 9 actually has the rest of the level to himself. I'm pretty sure it's not going to take like 15, 20 minutes to beat Agent 9's part. Well, I'd be a monkey's uncle. Alright, so he's off to kill some dinosaurs. And what is here? Gunfight at the Jurassic Corral and a mystery one. I believe the mystery one is actually here. Your name should be Deputy Dan. Oh yeah, this one's auto-scroll. We can't actually um, collect anything until we come back. Unless there's, like, gems laying out in the open, which I don't believe there are. Wait, what the hell is going on? Why wasn't he dying, and why was everything so delayed? Actually, this music doesn't really fit this level either. I'm not gonna lie. Is there any health I can pick up here, though, at least? Get here! The fact that I also came in with with 75% was kind of an issue. Bullshit! 
Oh, I'm left with one. Apparently I'm left with one. Are you gonna turn to the right or just keep going straight? I guess just going straight. I don't know, I feel like the lasers are a little too sensitive when it comes to hitting them. I prefer the the gun toting ones over the ones at TNT. Just because they take longer to actually throw shit at you, you know? I see a dinosaur jumping down. I killed him through the building, apparently. I know I'm gonna fail this. There's no way I'm gonna succeed. Never mind! We got the skill point for killing the one that goes by really fast. Hey, that didn't make a ching sound. Why didn't he die? Once again, why are you guys not dying when I when I shoot you? Die! Thank you guys. Great. It's like duck hunt on steroids, man. Can you just all die already? Oh, we did it. Oof. Holy Toledo, Sharon Stone, or Sharon Osborne, not really sure which one. Okay. Oh no, without sparks we can't pick up the gems. No. Wait, actually, does it tell us what the egg is now? Take it to the bank. Yeah, okay, it's in, in this level, in this part of the level. Let's see. I really wish there was some health lying around here. You know what? Honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to die just for the ability to get some health back. Since Agent 9 is clunky and moves weird, it's better just to have some health so we can pick up our our um, gems easier. Oh my god, are you that finicky, man? I believe the bank is that spot where we have to do the guys like up on like the little ledge. Sometimes you can actually go out the windows. So you want to make sure you check everything. Alright, uh, we just came through the window, but chose not to be a rebel. Like rebel Wilson. She'd be the bestest rebel. She's a funny rebel, actually. Maybe this isn't a bank. Nope, this is the bank. Here's the final egg. Sergio Volente. Thanks, sir, for stopping by. Hey, right, thank you. I just wanted to turn around. Wow. You know, you think a majority of the gems would be in the bank. <laughs> but surprisingly not. Because that would just be too big of a stereotype, am I right? There's more gems right there. Pretty sure there's going to be, what, 6,100 altogether? Oh, hey, look, more gems in here. What, ten? Thank you for five. Another ten. That leaves only twelve. Okay, you're saying gems are this way, eh? Oh, oh behind. Eh, makes sense. And there we go, that is everything in this level. So once again, only a 13 minute level. So actually, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to take on the final boss simply because we don't have time to do the other level, but we do have time to take on the boss. And then in the next episode, we will do the um, next level and then half of the uh, bonus world. So anyways, let's go take on the final boss. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know. Probably the cutscene. Or the adventure continues. Hmm, my girlfriend wants me to try sugar free pop. Time to kick some sorceress. But. Okay. So now this boss fight is kind of interesting. Why does that have, like the. Homeworld music. 
feel like this soundtrack is a little, uh, underwhelming. Is this supposed to be like a joke boss fight? Because the music doesn't really fit, and we have to honestly wait for Agent 9 to bring down our weapons. Now, good thing we have the extra health. Boring, boring. Oh, god damn it, didn't hit. I don't know, it's a. The cannons are good and all, but they're just not the best for fighting the sorceress. Because, like, she's. so far away from us. And apparently, I missed every goddamn hit. Oh, okay, you only get one hit. I guess, maybe, unless we're on to like the next wave of weaponry. Oh god, Jesus, how did I how did I make it through that? But wow, your attacks are very uh off centered. They're not even close to hitting me half the time. Ah I heard Agent 9 shoot something. Oh, it's right there in front of us. Oh come on, that is complete and utter bullshit. This one's a little better because we can actually shoot her with it, like, come up to her and fucking shoot her, but for some reason, she doesn't want to be shot at. Oh, I guess, I guess that's kind of like, wait, why why don't you want to be shot at, man? You don't, you don't want to die? This thing constantly moves, though. Hey, I hit you, you son of a... Never mind. I'm not gonna say anything mean to her at all. Agent 9's not giving us any health, because he's a dick. And I, and I do know for a fact that this boss level does have health. Okay, there's some... There's some health. After we take damage, though. Are you gonna knock something down for me, man? My biggest issue with this boss level is it takes him time to knock stuff down, and sometimes he only drops, like, health. Like such. There we go. And sometimes she does, like, mini attacks like that. Not all the time are her attacks full force, you know? There we go. Whoop. There we go, so we got three hits off on her. Now I believe we get the best one, and then we get a mixture of attacks. Oh god, it's like a huge orgasm of freaking attacks. Come on, Agent 9, give me my... Uh... There it is! And she only did three that time. And... Onward... Onward we go! You're a foe with infinite ammo! Baby! Boogie boogie boogie! Oh, I guess we were only allowed to hit her twice? Or is it because I touched her? It might have been because I touched her. That could also cause some issues, you know? Eh. <laughs> Couldn't hit me with your fireball or your melee attack. No. Nope. Didn't hit me. Woohoo! It's kind of like the Ripto fight all over, but you could just get different phases of using different weapons. I think it's one more hit and she's a goner. And I don't know why we were hugging the ground like that. There we go! Into the lava she goes, and there is our egg. What is the final boss egg? George! Woo, George! Hey, George can fly while we still can't. So that brings us to 141 eggs. After this, we'll be at, like, I believe we need to get to 149. Oh my god, she didn't die. Deja vu? Pyro, you've just defeated the sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon world. What do you plan to do next? Hmm? 
Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. A familiar face. Hey, it's Alora. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Maybe my coordinate tables are out of date by a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you going to visit me in Avalar? Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs and... Well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, uh, -huh. uh Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoch over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoch? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoch boy? Eat laser punk! Come on now, no fair hiding. Uh, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. Promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Billy in the wall. Now, how many times have I told you not to tease that moose? It was Billy's idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya. Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Say? <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> One less noble warrior. Even though Bianca never shows up in a hero's tale, so I don't get it. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show. Sparks is like, there's still a Sparks level, biatch. Now, we're not going to watch the credits because we do get to see the credits again. And since we're technically not done the game, we don't really need to see the credits. So, yeah. Though, there is something else we can do here before we end off the episode. And what that is, is first, let me grab some health here. Money bags. You're probably wondering how we get to 149... Uh, eggs when we have a total of, um, pardon me, like 141, 6 would only bring us to, I mean 148, 6 would bring us to 147, yeah, yeah, perfect. Don't worry Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I, uh, uh, I, I've got to be going now. Uh, toodles! I need those. I need that egg. So now you can get all your money back that you spent on money bag shenanigans just by flaming his ass. Sweet redemption, finally. Even though he shows up in every other spiral game later on. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like, man, get out of here. I still love the soundtrack for this level. Yes. Drat. 
Double drat. Drat, 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 drat. Oh, I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it, I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. See? He does do haikus. And we have Al. Al is such a lame name. Another flying dragon. Yeah, rub it in my face, why don't you? And there he goes. Because apparently he's going to Spooky Swamp, yet he clearly just went to Crystal Islands. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll be doing the one last level and part of the bonus world before ending off it, ending off the game in the episode following that. So, peace out, guys.